What is going on guys? Uh, today here we have a 2008 Ford F250 Power Stroke 6.4 and we have a crank no start and as you can see there's no fluid coming out of the shred valve. So one of the things I did, I checked all the relays, all the fuses, make sure all of them are uh, working. Uh, I tested that uh, relay, then I checked the fuse, there's a 20 20 uh, amp fuse there's another 20 amp fuse over here and there's also uh, uh, a diode there you should check your uh, manual just to make sure and if all of them are uh, working then you should come and check and you should have power coming uh, coming uh, from that uh, connector and if you do then most likely your fuel pump is bad so as you can see I have a good ground and then I have a signal uh, coming uh, through there uh, to the fuel pump all right guys uh, here we have the uh, fuel pump motorcraft here we have the power number and then we have the fuel filter we have the power number from uh, AutoZone. So let's go ahead and put it on and hopefully take care of the problem. And to remove the fuel pump, you're gonna need the, this two quick disconnect that tool that is a half inch. And then there's also a uh, three, three eighths. Now to your left, you're gonna have two connectors coming from the fuel tank. Those you need to push that uh, blue tab on uh, on uh, each side and pull it back and it should be able to come out And on the bottom one, you're gonna need the half inch, and on the top, you're gonna need the three eighths. Now, holding that fuel pump, you're gonna have three bolts or three nuts on the other side of the frame. And as soon as you uh, take them off, you're able to pull the fuel pump. And uh, here we have the new fuel pump along with the uh, connections. Uh, make sure you switch them up and um, just go ahead and put it through the frame. Put the nuts back and connect everything back together.
And as soon as you're done, go ahead and put the key on and you should be able to hear this. Okay, and with the key on, go ahead and come to your shred valve and you should be able to see either bubbles or fuel coming out of there now. Okay, so now before we start the truck, we're gonna replace the fuel filter that is on top of the engine with that 36 millimeter socket. We're gonna take out that uh, cap off, take out the old fuel filter, pull the new one in, and you should be ready to go. Now when you get this fuel filter, you're, you're gonna get the one from the engine and the one from the bottom. But since we get the new uh, fuel pump, uh, uh, it, sh it should already have the new fuel filter on. But if you're replacing just the fuel filter, go ahead and replace those two fuel filters so you won't have any problems. So I'm going to put the key on before I put the uh, fuel filter so, so I can let some air out. Uh, you don't have to do that, but if you want to, you can do that. Just, cause you see we have a lot of air in the system. Okay, as you see, the truck did start, but it died short after because we still have air in the system. So we need to take all of the air out and uh, we need to have the truck running for a while while the air is coming out. Thank <laughs> you. 
guys so as you can see I left the truck running for a while until I saw minimum minimum of no bubbles at all uh, just to make sure that we don't have no air in the system okay guys so we have this uh, fuel pressure tester kit then I have the four shredder valve adapter then I put it on the hose and then of course I got a bucket to catch all of the fluid all right guys so um, as you see I left it running for a while maybe a good uh, 30 minutes and so I see close to almost no bubble no air and uh, I'm on my way to get some fuel just in case because I really don't trust that uh, gauge because they've been uh, having problems in the past where it just gets to the half half a tank and then it died so it could be that the pump wasn't that strong anymore or that the gauge it's lying so let's go ahead and get some fuel and um, I mean it's running good until now hopefully everything is still good all right guys so i've been uh driving the truck for uh for a while it's driving so good and i did put some uh, fuel i'm guessing uh the gauge is fine it was just the pump that it wasn't uh, strong enough uh and everything uh, works fine But there you have it guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching and see you on the next video.